Well, I'm a renter serving on Seattle City Council in an era where we have over half the residents in Seattle as renters. Um, I'm a woman, I'm a person of color, I'm a younger worker in a city where we see rapid growth and expansion, but not enough housing for those who live here, want to study here, want to retire here. Um, my own lived experiences, seeing our rent increase by about $400 over the last two years, uh, not to any fault of our uh, landlord. Um, you know, they're actually very responsive, but because there is not enough housing here in our city, we see increases in the cost of rent and decreases in the availability of options in folks in Seattle, and that has to be addressed. It's a renter's issue, it's a homeowner issue, it's an economic stability issue, and across the board, I know if we want to create a thriving economy, uh, we have to have more housing, and that's something that we're going to be tackling. The most important thing we can do is create more housing options. Both renter options, first time home owner options, options for those who want to buy their second or their third home. Um, in Seattle, we want to create equity. And when, e when I say equity, I mean both equity in terms of in your pocketbook and equity in terms of racial and social justice equity in the city. You can't create uh, opportunities to get out of generational poverty if you can't ever buy your first place. So in Seattle, we can do a lot more to create density, density density done right, development done right, to reflect the needs of our community. That means apartments, that means condos, that means townhouses, that means duplexes and triplexes and backyard cottages. It means being smarter about creating housing next to transit lines. Um, and I know that we can do this. It's going to take us all acting together now because we're behind the curve. Uh, we have a lot of our city that's been expanded over decades, over the past um, century. If you look at maps, more single family zones when we should be creating more density and density done right with the community input. We have to have the ability for those who want to work here and retire here to be able to raise a family here to afford to live and stay here. That's good for our health. It's good for the health of the environment as well when we're not commuting for long periods of time. And it's good for social co cohesion. People going to parks, going to playgrounds, hanging out with their friends and family in the city instead of being pushed out. That's what I'm interested in. And the most important thing we can do to address the increase in the cost of rent and home ownership is to create more options and do it quickly. I'm very supportive of upzones, especially in places around hubs where you have access to transportation, parks, schools. These are resource-rich neighborhoods. And if we create more options for folks to live there, we're sharing that resource. We're creating greater equity and greater parity across our city. And where we live and uh, our zip code, our race and ethnicity, um, we should be able to see greater shared prosperity. And that's something I'm interested in.